Financial News Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We had the Dow Industrials finish up 97, NASDAQ of 20, S&Ps flat. Now, Friday, you went to higher highs, monster volume. Out here today, bottom line is trying to get to higher highs. I expect you're going to see this in the next couple of days. You got trading, folks, right up until January 6th, okay? We, tomorrow is going to be a half a day inside the marketplace. Markets close at 1 o'clock tomorrow. You get closed on Christmas, come back Thursday, Friday. As we go into the following week, uh, we go into the year 2020. Markets will be open uh, except for Wednesday, full week. That being said, guess what? You're not going to get any juice into this market uh, until the following Monday, which is January 6th. So I expect you're going to see a sideways to upward market as we go into that. Gold and silver, they both caught a bit out here today. You had gold contract up $8.70. Silver contract was up 26 Notes and bonds, this is going to be tricky with notes and bonds. So what notes and bonds did is this. The 10-year note down four ticks. The 30-year off eight ticks. They both had tested the lows of last week, rejected the lows of last week, had lighter volume. Today what we did, you actually got over the high of Friday Gave it up on price. You have light volume. What does that set up? That sets up, once again, the test of the lows of last week. So we'll see. I don't expect we're going to get volume, but bottom line wants to go off the lower end of the consolidation that we have been in. King dollar. King dollar right now down 34 ticks. King dollar got over its, got into its higher trading range. And what that was all about was good old British pound. The British pound has actually got smoked the last five days in a huge way. We've gone down from 135 to 129, and it looks like it actually wants to get into the 128 area. What we did have out here today, so that puts more buying in the, in the dollar. The other side of that is that the euro start catching a bid. Now, if the euro catches a bid, the bottom line, the dollar will go right back downtown because the euro is 60% of the U.S. dollar. Right now, the 10-year uh, the is trading at 1.928%. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. We look forward to speaking right back here. Come join us. 9 o'clock in the morning, I'm Amos Larry Pesavento kicks us off. Great program. Have a great one, folks.